Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with quick cream curried corn. That's right. Why the heck am I showing you another corn recipe right after I showed you a corn recipe? Because of this. Some of you thought my extremely dangerous method for cutting the corn off a cob was too dangerous. And you know what? You were right. I tend to forget on a scale of you to 10. My knife skills are like a, I don't know, 9.3, 9.4, somewhere in there. So I really should keep that in mind when I'm showing these techniques. So let me show you an alternative method that's probably much safer and many people will consider easier for the average home cook. All right, so for this method, we're gonna take a nice big pan and we're gonna take our corn, we're gonna hold it by the pointed end, we're gonna put the flat side down in the middle of the pan and we're gonna hold it straight up and we're gonna take a nice sharp knife. All right, I'm using a small one here, it really doesn't matter. And you're gonna cut straight down and you'll be able to shave off all that corn without any fingertips getting in the way. All right, so we call this the straight down method, or the other name is I'm scared to cut my fingertips method, which is what I call it. And no matter what technique you're using, you're still gonna scrape that cob with the back of the knife to get the rest of that corn off and get that delicious, sweet corn juice. And by the way, the reason I'm using a skillet here instead of a bowl is I'm gonna cook the corn in a skillet. So why dirty something else? We'll just trim it right into the pan. And if you were just now gonna turn this off because you already know how to do this, wait, I'm gonna show you an incredibly delicious corn recipe in a minute. All right, so that's how you would trim it if you were gonna use it in a saute pan. But what if you were doing a corn salad or salsa and you were gonna make that in a bowl? Then you would just trim it into the bowl. But here's a tip, place a ramekin in the bottom so that the edges of the bowl do not interfere with your hand or knife. Just raises it up a little bit and you can go around using that same straight down trimming method. Again, your fingers are up on top, out of harm's way, theoretically. So feel free to use that method. Feel free to use my more dangerous method. Up to you, you are the kernel of your corn. Give me one more because I stole that pun from the comment section on the last video. Oh yeah. All right, so now that we've gone over that easier, safer method for cutting the corn, let's do something with it. So we're gonna go ahead and add our bowl corn to our pan corn, along with a little bit of olive oil and a big pinch of salt. And I'm gonna put that on medium heat and cook it until it's kind of steamy and wet. And what we're making here is a very rich and delicious cream corn without any cream or butter. I know it sounds impossible, but you're gonna be amazed. All right, so we're gonna saute that corn in the olive oil for about three minutes, at which point we're gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. All right, we'll stir that in and we'll give that about a one minute saute. And then because I'm calling this curried, I'm gonna go ahead and spice this up a little bit with some cayenne, some smoked paprika, and some garam masala, which is a beautiful, sweet and aromatic Indian spice blend. And a little bit goes a long way. This corn is so naturally, awesomely delicious. Do not overspice it. So we're gonna stir in those spices and we're gonna continue sauteing for about two more minutes, at which point the corn should be pretty much done. All right, fresh corn like this cooks really fast. We're just taking the raw edge off. So we'll cook that for a few minutes, at which point we're gonna turn the heat down to low and add the magic ingredient, a scoop of plain Greek yogurt. The more I use it, the more I realize what a magical ingredient it is. So we're gonna stir that in and you're gonna be so shocked that without butter, that without heavy cream, you're gonna have a delicious corn side dish that's every bit as rich and decadent, and yet a significantly lower cal. I know that's usually not my thing, but this time it was, and it was incredible. And once that's mixed in, let's go ahead and turn off the heat, stir in a little bit of fresh chive, and once you've tasted for seasoning, don't be afraid to give it another pinch of salt. And once you're happy with it, that's it, spoon it up. Your quick creamed curry corn is done. And as I was making this, I was thinking, this is gonna taste really good, but I was not prepared for just how good. The combination of that sweet corn with that creamy, tangy yogurt, that little bit of heat from the cayenne, those aromatic Indian spices, it just was incredibly tasty. And the starch from the corn actually kind of melded with the yogurt. So not only was it creamy, it actually had a little bit of stickiness to it, which I found extremely pleasurable. All right, so like I said, this really was a demo to show you that alternative, much safer method for cutting the corn. But I figured while I had the fresh corn around, why not show you my new favorite corn side dish? So I did. So I really do hope you give that a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.